my beautiful friends, it's Mimi here today and in case you're wondering where I am today I seem to always be changing my locations when I'm doing the favorites videos Today I'm in Layla's bedroom She was kind enough to let me use her bedroom to film I'm sort of like a gypsy going from my parents house to Alex's mom's house to here to the office um, Alex and I are just visiting Toronto for about 10 days So I thought I'd film the favorites today because today is what? It's May! And I'll be sharing with you my April favorites I felt like I didn't have a lot to share with you and then I started writing it all down and I realized I actually do have a lot so without further ado let's get started all right this is gonna be no particular order the first favorite of the month is actually a five-minute journal app and I know I've shared this with you guys before uh, about the five-minute journal that Alex my friend UJ and I created years ago and then we had an app also years ago as well However, that app didn't work as well as we wanted it to perform, so we decided to take it off the market and recreate the app, which took us about a year or maybe even more. So now we're back on track. The app is on iTunes, and we were actually featured as number one app in all the apps. Was it in the lifestyle section, Alex? Yeah. Yeah, which and was... Best new app. Yeah, best new app out of like thousands of apps out there in US I believe US and Canada I think so that was incredible but I personally actually still love to use my physical physical journal now because we were traveling and it's sort of a long trip we're gone for like three weeks or something I decided to leave my journal at home and just use the app while I'm traveling and I really enjoyed using it while we were traveling because as much as I love the physical physical journal, I think just because I like physical things in general, like books and things like that, I really enjoyed the fact that with the app, you can actually add daily photo, which makes it so much more real and you can always go back on any day and see what kind of highlight that day was. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like in general. So here I have the timeline, just gonna scroll it down and then you can even see it all in like really nice boxes. And then you can just click on any one of them and you have the whole list. So basically it works the same way. Three things in the morning, what are you grateful for? You fill that in and then um, you have daily affirmations. And then in the end of the day, you have reflections. So what are some amazing things that happened today? So absolutely love using this when I was traveling. So I think that's what I'm going to do from now on. Instead of taking the journal with me, I'll just use the app. In case you prefer using technology and you want to go paperless, this could be a really great option. If you're like me and you like to use your five minute journal, journal and you want to try the app, try it when you're traveling. I think you're going to love it. On a beauty note, I'm going to share a couple of my favorites this month and I have this um, lip balm. I've been looking, as you guys know, it's like I feel like in the last few favorites of the month I featured a few different chopsticks and lip balms. This one so far is my favorite. I think I found my holy grail lip balm and the reason I found it is because when I went away, I forgot to take lipstick and chopsticks with me. I realized when I searched through my bags that I actually have nothing for my lips. And I went to Whole Foods because my lips got really dry from the sun, as you can see from the tan. I've been in the sun a lot. And what happens sometimes is just the sun obviously dehydrates your skin, can dehydrate the lips. And I decided to find something that would moisturize them. This is really amazing. It's the first time I tried the brand Badger. This flavor is called cool mint and it's really nice when you apply it it's super shiny i'm gonna just open it i really like the way it twists out sort of different because usually they twist out from the back this one actually twists from the bottom and it adds a really nice shine to the lips which i really like it moisturizes it right away adds a really nice shine and gloss um it's sort of a minty flavor so right away you get a really nice cool freshness on your lips but my favorite feature, of course, or quality of this product is when I look at the ingredients, and I'm not super duper educated on all the beauty ingredients, but even when I look on the ingredient list, I can understand every single ingredient. Just gonna read some of them out to you. First ingredient, extra virgin olive oil. Second ingredient, cocoa butter, beeswax, um, castor oil, essential oil of uh, peppermint, uh, citrus oil, aloe vera, blah 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 blah. So everything I understand and it just makes such a difference when you can look at your product and at the ingredient list and understand every single one of them. You know this is a good product to use so absolutely love this brand now. It's cruelty free of course and it's organic as well. I think I mentioned everything. <laughs> Alright moving on to the next beauty product that I've been 
loving, not just this month, but I don't think I've ever mentioned it, but especially this month, uh, what I do in the summer or spring, it's not summer yet, um, when I get a bit of a tan and my skin color is darker, I prefer not to use foundation because the tan sort of makes everything look 100% better. So I can just get away with using my Bare Minerals, um, I don't even know what these things are called, to be honest. Layla got me hooked on this years ago. It's called Bare Minerals Matte. I'm assuming this is a foundation. Yeah, it does say Bare Minerals Matte Foundation. It has a natural SPF 15 in it. And the way you use it, you literally use just a teeny tiny drop as you open it, because usually it will shake in your cosmetic bag. I take my Real Techniques brush, which is vegan, cruelty-free, and all that wonderful stuff, and I just dab it into this powder, shake it off on my hand, and then sort of in circular motions, I even out my skin tone. And this is in a tan color, because again, I'm tan right now. Um, and it adds a really nice even tone all over the skin. It sort of covers what it needs to cover without obviously being too heavy because this is not a liquid foundation. So yeah, I absolutely love using this in the summer. It feels like I have no makeup on and really I don't have much because this is still powder. And if I'm in the sun, I still get a tan um, with having some protection on my skin. So very good, definitely recommend it for the summer months. Another favorite app of the month is actually a recommendation from Alex. He doesn't do favorites. I've been begging him to start doing favorites, but I'm like, you know what? If you're not gonna do it, I'm just gonna steal your favorite. And this is called um, AccuWeather. And the reason I really love this app is because sometimes we travel, or even if we're in London, and you look at your forecast and it says, let's say it's plus 16 Celsius, which is really warm. But then you go outside and it's actually freezing because it's windy or because it's cloudy that day, or sometimes they'll say it's only 20 degrees, but it actually feels hotter. So with the AccuWeather app, it actually tells you what the weather really feels like. So it's the real feel weather. And I really like that because sometimes you're going out for the whole day and you don't know how to dress or if you need to take a jacket with you or a trench coat, so this is really great, especially when you're constantly moving locations and you're traveling. I absolutely think it's a lifesaver. So with AccuWeather, let's look at today's weather. Not very exciting, I'll tell you that. So right now I'm gonna go into the actual weather forecast, which says today is nine degrees Celsius, which is very, very cold. Um, and the real feel is actually six degrees. So it's even colder in reality. And yeah, it's just very useful when you're going out of the house to know how to dress properly for the day. And now I'm gonna share with you some fashion favorites of the month. This by far is my absolute favorite and I hope I can wear it for much longer this summer because I am growing by the day. <laughs> and this really cute jumper sort of has a really beautiful floral print. I bought this from ASOS from my favorite vintage collection. ASOS Vintage Collection is basically their reclaimed vintage clothes. They take old stock fabrics from, I don't know, 70s, 80s, 90s, God knows, and make new clothes that are more stylish for today's fashion. I really love this jumper because it's got this really cute ruffle details on the bottom. It's just absolutely beautiful for the summer with the floral print and it's got a really nice back as well. Next favorite of the month is something I'm very excited about because I normally don't shop from Revolve Clothing because I don't even know if they ship to UK but even if they do, the duties and everything adds up and it's just way too overpriced. So I usually shop all my favorite US stores when I'm in US. Um, so we recently were in California and I bought this top that I'm wearing right now. I absolutely love Revolve Clothing because every time I go on their website, I feel like I wanna buy everything. By the way, in case you're interested in any of the stuff that I mentioned today, all the links will be in the info box down below. The reason I love this top is of course because I love off-shoulder tops. This one actually you can wear two different ways. It's got straps, but you can also hide the straps and wear it as an off-shoulder top. So very nice. Again, if you're outside, you're in the sun, you don't want to get any strap kind of um, tan, <laughs> then you can push them out of the way. And yeah, it's a really nice, beautiful feminine floral print as well. I just realized all the fashion items I featured today are floral, which is kind of strange because I used to never ever wear floral before. All right, so this maxi dress is my absolute favorite. I bought this for the summer, but I've already started wearing it, and I think when we're in Cali, I wore it at least three, four times because it's just so loose and light and 
feminine and it's got a really beautiful back I just love the back of this dress and I love the print and I like that it's got a really nice cut at the front but it's not it doesn't go too high up either so this is my ideal maxi summer dress and the last favorite fashion item of the month are these beautiful ballet flats from Melissa as you guys know Finding shoes for Mimi is like the hardest thing in the world because I don't wear leather and I'm very picky about the shoes and the styles that I like in general so even when I used to wear leather it was hard for me to find shoes but I haven't been wearing leather in the last probably four or five years and finding shoes for me became really extremely hard and especially finding shoes that are also comfortable so it's got to pass a few criteria so it's got to be beautiful design wise it's got to be comfortable and of course it's got to be something that I love because if you don't love it don't buy it so yeah I love these flats when I put them on I thought they're absolutely you know exquisite with their really nice sort of a pattern that's going on and it's got a sparkle as well so it kind of comes off on your hands and it smells like bubble, bubble gum. I don't know if you guys realize, but all Melissa shoes, Mel shoes, smell deliciously like bubble gum. So these are perfect, very, very comfortable, and will go with everything for spring and summer. And last but not least, I have a book recommendation for you. Uh, I think a few months ago, you guys mentioned that you wanted me to recommend not just personal growth books, but also business books, but because I read a lot of them as well. I just sometimes don't mention them in my videos because I don't know if you guys are interested, but a lot of you said you are. So here is one that I will recommend today. And the book of the month, my favorite, is by Gary Vaynerchuk. And this is his new latest book called As G Hashtag. <laughs> Hashtag ask Gary V. So Gary V had a wine business and he used to make videos on YouTube about wine. And this was like years ago before YouTube was YouTube. And then he did that for a long time and then he started his own sort of a social media branding kind of company. So he helps other companies brand themselves, but he's also a personality. So he's got many different things going on for him. The reason I like Gary Vaynerchuk is because all of his advice that he gives away in his podcast and he gives a lot away a lot of value in his videos on YouTube. I'm gonna link his channel down below as well, as well as his podcast. Everything that he talks about is something I completely agree with. If I ever give advice about starting your own business, starting your own channel, Instagram account, Snapchat, whatever, building a brand or building your personality online. This, the advice would be almost identical. So that's why I would recommend definitely listening to his book. He's all about, you know, hustle, give a lot of value, um, really dedicate yourself to your art and don't expect results in a month. If you're gonna do something online or offline, you have to really dedicate yourself and not feel this entitlement that you will accomplish and be successful, you know, within a year even. It took him years and years of hard work. I think he posted something like, you know, definitely over a hundred videos on YouTube before you know, that before his channel actually got traction. I think he's got a really nice inspiring story that we can all learn something from. So definitely check out Gary Vee's new book. I am listening to it because as you guys know, I love audiobooks. I'm gonna link the book down below as well. So definitely check it out. I think you guys will love it and you will find a lot of useful information, whether it is you wanna start your own brand, YouTube channel, your own business. There's all kinds of advice in this book. So check it out. All right, so I guess that was a lot after all. All right, guys, let me know what are some of your favorites of the month. I would absolutely love to hear from you. So leave me a comment down below. What's one favorite of April? It's so strange to say that. I can't believe it's May still. I'm still getting over the fact that it's May. So leave me a comment down below. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoy watching my favorites. I love you guys very, very much, and I'll see you next week. Bye.